I'm Mark Lakeman, co-director of Creative Vision at the City Repair Project in Portland, Oregon. City Repair engages people at the most local levels to come together and to directly transform the commons where people live. City Repair began with a kind of a creative uprising at this location where we just came out into the streets and we took them over and we said, you know, we don't have any public squares, we don't have any you know, places of gathering right where we live. It's about time that we came out together and, and we just created, recreated the commons so that it actually reflects the, our, our common vision. And that's what we've been doing in Portland and many other cities around the country for about the last decade. In Portland, Oregon, there's about seven uh, intersection interventions like this one. We call them intersection repairs. But there are many other kinds of installations around the city, something like 80 at this point. There are community meeting houses, uh, memorials, monuments, benches, kiosks, um, installations of all kinds that have to do with public art by and for the public where the public lives. What we've done here is we've called out the fact that something's different and that causes drivers to pay more attention. So they slow down before they come into the space. And um, it's, a, it's a pretty effective traffic calming mechanism that way. In fact, the American Journal of Public Health just recently published uh, uh, an article called The Intersection of Community Health. Researchers have established that because of these locations, um, and the things that are going on here, the people that live around the space for about a two block radius experience mental and physical health benefits as a result of these things happening. And it's really not surprising. I mean, if people aren't getting out and walking around, it's probably because they don't have anything to walk around and go, you know, go, go see or do um, in the housing tracts where people live. I think in every ma major American city, they've got goals like, you know, to, to raise the livability in a neighborhood, to slow traffic, and to get more eyes on the street, to get people talking to each other, and um, to make the streets safer, to make them cleaner, things like that. And uh, we realized that none of that was ever going to happen unless we were involved in, in, our own, in our own problems. So we thought, all right, let's make the streets safer by making them, them more interesting. Let's make the streets safer by, by, by creating something you know, marvelous for people to want to look at, you know, something different. And uh, you know, let's let's make our neighborhoods safer by bringing people outside of their 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 houses where they live these separate lives, and get them engaged in working together creatively, so that they'll learn each other's names. The city government, they tried to come down on us, especially transportation. They were saying, you know, you can't do that. We're in control. And we wouldn't even answer them. You know, when they said, you know, we're in control. You don't have the power. Instead of saying, oh yeah, we have the power, you don't have the power, and then we get into a fight and they'd fine us and make us hurt. Our response wasn't that at all. We just said, you know what? Every single one of us is missing a public square. There isn't a neighborhood in this town that isn't missing a public square. Like that was our response. And they were, they were dumb, dumbfounded. They were like, these guys will not fight with us. Our whole idea was to just directly create, treat everyone like an ally, try to bring everybody along because uh, this is something that matters to everybody, even if they're a bureaucrat that thinks that they have to, you know, they have to maintain control over others. We had to help them realize that they were involved too and they, they needed this to happen.